In the mountains of Los Angeles, this 1950s abandoned missile base is every post-apocalyptic lover's dream. But what started as a fun family day out soon turned into every explorer's worst nightmare. There's literally a bullet shell right there. Shot. Did you hear that? Actual bloods. Are you okay, Dad? Died very recently. Wait, why? Los Angeles Police Department. I was just calling to um, kind of report something. Welcome, welcome back to Ghost Club Paranormal. I am sweaty after the hike up here, let me tell you. I've made it to the destination. This is so cool, it's like something straight out of Fallout 4 or something like that. So why might this place be haunted? Well, other than the residual energy that was left over here from such an intense time, I feel like I needed another reason to investigate. So when I looked up the very few Yelp reviews online, there was one that I found that was pretty cryptic and it simply reads, I highly suggest you come in to check this place out alone. Keep in mind that once you witness something, there's no way to unsee it. And just to add to the eeriness, around the time that that review was made, there was a couple of guys who came here. They went inside the missile silo and they came across the top of a human skull. To my knowledge, the men never reported it to the authorities and who knows where that skull came from, who it belonged to and where it is now. Shortly after the skull was found, there was a couple of photographers who came to visit the missile silo. Once they got underground, they came across an abandoned Ouija board. Understandably, the photographers, they dismissed the Ouija board pretty fast. But it does leave me thinking, what if there's spiritual doors that were opened and never closed? What is the reason why somebody would just abandon a Ouija board? There is just something completely off about this place and I'm here to get to the bottom of it. I have brought along with me my dad and my stepmom because there's no cell phone signal up here and I sure as hell wasn't coming here alone. Okay, so this is my dad, this is my stepmom. Hey. This is the history buff and this is the <laughs> sensitive. That's right, yeah, Anna. You were feeling something when you first walked in here. Oh yeah, I feel like it feels so sad, like somebody, I don't know, died or something like that. I don't know, if somebody killed somebody. Or died, as you can see, it's really, really quiet here. So a really good place for people to get up to no good. You can go into these buildings, there are plenty. There's bees in there, Jason. I know there's bees. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. There's a ton of these buildings. Not entirely sure what they were used for. We're gonna go underground very, very soon. Dad, do you know what a VPN is? No. Have you ever like searched the internet for something and then thought to yourself, man, I really hope that nobody finds out that I've ever searched for this. Have you been checking my browsing history? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking oh. about. No. We was we was one time we was looking for uh what was the Oh name? you know what? That's right. Um we were talking about uranium. uranium and we were on a drive back from red and it was a long drive. A we're talking warning. We were talking about uranium said, and and how it is like uh, <laughs> guys. One of you are going to have to talk okay. at a time. <laughs> hey Siri, how do, how how would how would you make uranium? And then Siri literally came back and said, "Smart men don't ask stupid questions." <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hi. Yes. We're like, oh my god, maybe the FBI yeah. tuned into that. <laughs> well, it sounds like you guys needed Surfshark VPN. <laughs> And good thing, because they're sponsoring today's episode. I can't stress this enough, but it is really one of the smartest things that you can do in this day and age, because most of our private information is stored inside our phones. Only way to keep your private identity safe is by adding the highest level of security so nobody can track or steal your information. I use Surfshark VPN to actually change my virtual location so I can watch my UK TV shows here in the US. Check out these countries you can choose to browse privately from on what Whatever device you choose, phone, desktop, TV, console, your identity will always remain private. Okay, so when we go to Egypt next week for vacation, does that mean to say I can watch my American programs in Egypt? Yes! See, it's that simple, even dads can use it. <laughs> oh, that's great! So we can be watching 
our thermal show there. And we'll ignore the cruise okay. on the Nile <laughs> as long as we don't miss At crime least watch. I cannot show. I cannot miss my show. That's great. <laughs> I love it. You guys are always telling me to protect myself at haunted locations. So I'm returning the favor by telling you guys to protect your online identities. Seriously, guys, I am hooking you up. All you need to do is go to Surfshark dot deals slash ghost club there's the button for 83 percent off and you also get three months free click the link in the bio i got your backs i got your guys's backs and let's go and investigate okay history buff tell us what this building could have been used for you can see that there's obviously been brackets here and here holding some kind of contraption here i would like to think a furnace and here you see the concrete reinforced concrete holding boilers for the steam, four of them. So this thing was to generate steam if these was if this was a steam powered missile base. <laughs> or, the, or it might have been a chow hall. These might have been where they put the tables and this might have been where they cooked the dinner. If there are any spirits here, I just want to introduce myself real fast. Just letting you know that we come here in peace. We don't mean you any harm. We would like to connect with anybody that is here with us right now. First question that I do want to know the answer to. Johnson. <laughs> Johnson? Did you serve on this missile base? In the 50s, 60s, the height of the Cold War? Can you tell me a little bit more? Maybe if Johnson was a bad person, did he hurt you? Upset me. Upset me. Interesting, what we'll do is we'll just start walking down to the missile silo just now. If there's somebody just communicating with us just now, feel free to follow us. You can tell us more of your story through the device that I'm holding in my hand here. My heart. It said my heart. If she was like Johnson's partner and he was stationed here, she's obviously been upset if he's had to take off and then doesn't want to continue a relationship. Of course, saying he'll be in touch, but never being Holly. in touch. Is that the case? Maybe leaving you- Holly. Child? Is oh, that- really? Is Holly? that- Holly? Is that your name? Is that your name? Well, Holly, please, you're welcome to tag along with us on this investigation when we go underground. Hurt. Hurt. These responses, Johnson upset me, my heart, Holly, hurt. Well, it feels heavy, but unfortunately, this is the easy part. You're in the day, the sun's out, the, the smell of the fresh grass, and now we're about to go underground. So, okay, so there's two entrances to underground. Luckily for us, the easy way is open. Otherwise, we would have had to like crawl down a hole. But now we just kind of get to freely walk down a hole. You want me to go down first? Because I've got the stick. <laughs> what does the stick do? <laughs> if anybody's there, they're getting the stick. <laughs> okay, so take So the this. thing is, I can't hear very well, and it smells very well, and this one, it smells very, very strong. Oh, right. What, yeah. down there? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can smell it. I just got like a big whiff of it coming up. Really, it's very strong, it smell. All right. All right. Hell. Hell. Oh, my God, that is weird. Hell? Yeah. We're going into hell? Well, I got the stick. <laughs> Whoa, watch your step. Oh my god. Step on a rock. Is there anybody down here? Wow, it's massive in here. Oh, it's gonna take me a second for my eyes to adjust, that's for sure. This is eerie. I was supposed to bring masks for us and I totally forgot, so I apologize. This is where, this is kind of like the Vincent. So this was the elevator here and the missile would sit on this elevator. And then these giant doors would open whilst the missile was raised. In the beginning of the Cold War, the US government placed a dozen missile bases around Los Angeles to protect the civilians and the land in case of an attack against the Soviet Union. Men were made to work and sleep inside the missile silos, waiting for the signal to launch against enemy attacks. The location that we're investigating today was one of the last bases to be in operation and closed its doors in 1974. You heard that? 
that that sounds like someone walking. Someone walking around upstairs. No, Benjamin. Benjamin. Lots of names coming through. So. We got Vincent and we got Benjamin. Now back in the day, there were men that used to actually sleep here and know that there's bunk beds around here somewhere. So let's go try and find them. It's a bit tight. So here are the bunk beds. This is tiny. This is tiny, tiny quarters for three men to sleep in. Benjamin, Vincent, is this, did this used to be your room? Is this where you used to bunk? Johnson? See this, how thick this door is, dude. That is thick. And then there's a little shelf in you behind there. Can you imagine you like spending 48 hours in here? Died very recently. Died very recently. Someone died here recently? Is there any chance of all going over to the antenna? And letting us know you're still here. Another way that you can show that you're here with us is if you wanted to walk over to the device that I'm holding in my hands here. And if you make that green light. Did you hear that? Really high. I'm hearing a lot of voices, a lot of walking around up. Please stay back. Please stay back. Matthew. Matthew, are you the third guy that was down here? Benjamin, Vincent and Matthew? Have I got that right? If I've got that right, can you please go over? Can you touch the device behind me? Or can you make a loud noise for us? You heard that, right? Something's filled with water. That's a lot of water. Deep. It just said deep. Oh, wow. Right as we're talking about that water down there. That is deep. I've got an idea. Dad, why don't you put your stick in the water and see how deep it is? Okay. <laughs> I did not think you were going to be up for that. <laughs> <laughs> Not my precious stick. That's really cool. Oh look, there's some pipes. Anna's, Anna's getting some good footage of it. I always wonder if somebody's dead there. Is there anything that we should make? It just said blame. Alright guys, this will be loud. Oh! The ramp pod. Because I picked it up and I was moving it. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, my name is Jade. Thanks for asking. And this is my dad, Tony. I'm Tony. And my stepmom, Anna. Are you a family person? Did you get to see your family often? Please take care. Please take care. Thank you. Is that a warning or are you just looking out for me? I appreciate that. Also guys, I do just want to say that this was where the skull was found. Thank you. Okay. I had a feeling that when we came in here, this was going to happen. Thank you. Can you step away from that device now? You know what? <laughs> Not you, Dad. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna reset this. I'm gonna read off a list of the names, the male names that were given to me whilst we've been down here. And I want you to go up to that device and I want you to light it up just like how you were doing when I call your name, okay? So I know exactly who's here with us. Benjamin? Is that you? Vincent? Are you here with us?
Oh my gosh. George. George. He's grandpa. His grandpa. Yeah, you think? Yeah, he say take care. Take care, he yeah. Say, be careful when you come here. Who is this? Who am I talking to right now? Meaning grandpa tell you be careful when you come It's granddad. It's granddad, you're just saying your grandpa was just telling you to be careful. This dad <laughs> Granddad's coming through again. Hey George, how are you? Long time no see. Thank you for watching over us. I do appreciate it. Well just as we walked in the room where the human skull was found, uh, there was a message that came through it said be careful. And then what came through? George. And then what? It's Grandad. So it does sound like uh, my protector is here with me right now, which is awesome. But it also makes me think maybe there is something darker down here. Like, yeah, yeah it did yeah. say be careful as I walked into this room, though. And then when we came, a man here. A man here. Oh well, yes, we if somebody was killed here, they say yes. Recently. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> it's very heavy here. Many things can be happening, but the smell is very strong too. Suffered. Suffered. Are we talking... Can be in pain. Pain of the arm. I just heard a tap right next to me. It sounded like a thump on the wall outside yeah. and that's literally on the other side of that wall. It's like the, the earth, it's the ground. There's no other room on that side, so... Yeah. Sounds like there's somebody in here with us. Did you suffer in this room? It was a pain in the arm. Is that what you're feeling? That's what I'm feeling. And it's this arm, I feel like uh, somebody was in pain or if somebody was in uh, hurt. That's why I asked if somebody was killed because I feel like it's... Uh, that's what I feel, I don't know. Can be, can be not. I never experienced something like this. I mean, there's there's something going on. I don't know if it happened in this room or what, but the fact that the top of a human skull was found in this room, I know I've said that a bazillion times, but there's something to that. Like, it can't just be dismissed so easily. So even if we're not talking to the person who that skull belonged to, I want to know if there's any spirits here that were actually present for that moment. And can you give us a little bit of information if that person died down here? Or maybe the person died somewhere else and then the... Are you okay, Dad? Are you okay? Shot. Shot. Was doing that. Oh my God, oh, and it was just... Was walking around here. Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? No, we're in a soundproof room back here. I thought someone had maybe came in the ladder. Hello? But someone was walking Let around. Let people in know. Room, like splashing around in these puddles. It wasn't just a regular drip, drip, drip. That was, that's, that was a Maybe. That's good, that would be. So my dad literally just heard footsteps the second shot came through and then also let people know. Something was going crazy in here and it was, I was panicking because I couldn't turn around to see it. I had to like kind uh, of shuffle the backwards. It was a big surprise to turn around and find nobody here. That freaked me out. Do we have to stay here here longer, Jade? Yeah. What? <laughs> Sorry. Hmm? Yeah, that, that, a little freaked out by that. Did you mean to see me? If so, if you didn't, you did. <laughs> no, you're kidding me. Okay, hold on. There's a lot going on right now. I feel like wow. somebody was shot in the arm from here to here. I can feel it. Her arm, is, her hand is freezing. And this is normal. But that's like a block of ice. I know. So weird. Wow. Are you here with us just now? I love the questions. I know you're kind of freaked out right now, but I, another thing that we really do need to get to is the blood that Anna just found on the ground here. So 
that is not spray paint. Yep. Right. That's actual blood. Yeah, I really didn't think that we were going to find like fresh blood down here. Um, do we look for more blood? I think we should probably look for more blood. So get your flashlights out and start searching the floors. So that's the blood. Investigate. Investigate. That's literally what we're doing, yes. We're investigating. And if you could tell us a little bit more about why that blood is on the floor, we would truly appreciate it. Francis. Francis. Francis, is that your blood? Uh, I can see a pentagram. Okay, well, the good news is I can't see any other blood around here, but at the same time, if there was blood, it would probably be washed away. That, I guess, was just like a dry spot, but that still should have dried... I was going to say it still, still should have been dried up if it wasn't recent. It said, when? When did this happen? Thank you. Thanks for guiding me. When did that happen? Are you thinking of this person in the water already? Well, another thing as well, like the only other thing that I can see, this glass here. Did somebody hurt themselves on the glass or was this intentional? Oh, what's that noise? Okay, we're hearing like a bunch of people out there, so we're just gonna leave for a second, get a breather, then we might come back down. No, finally. Wait. Wow, it's nice out here. You guys, it's nice out here, but is anybody really confused why there's nobody up here? I know, man. I was sure that was people walking around up here. So what do you feel it? I felt fear. I felt fear. I was scared. I felt like someone, when I first heard the noise, I was expecting to hear like drip, drip. When I first heard the noise. <laughs> the noise, and then there's <laughs> some random noise. <laughs> To be honest with you, it felt like a couple of, it sounded like a couple of people were out there. I was, and I had to jostle back, and when I turned around and put my flashlight on it, I was surprised to find the place empty. But it sounded like it was coming from inside, though. It was inside, it was inside, it was the echoing, it was the, it was, they were right behind me. Oh, I know, I, I'm all right with no doing that. <laughs> what, going back down? Or, uh, no, I'll go back down. You I'm sure? Come on, uh, all right. I know you was scared, but... <laughs> Didn't he be silly? <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm an old ghost. <laughs> all right, be my guest. All right, here we go. <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! <laughs> Maybe, okay. Don't know if you can see that, but there's literally a bullet shell right there as well. Are you okay? Uh-huh. What we're going to do is we're going to go into that room because I feel like the room with the bunker I just feel like there's something to that room. Yeah, yeah definitely. There is something. What was that? Did you hear that? There was a noise. There was. Okay, let's go in there then. And uh, careful walking. Do you want to go inside like the operation room? Whoa, oh, shit. Oh. This is no. Oh, oh, the top what, hinge is done. That's what I told you. I don't want. Oh my god. Seriously? If that falls on you, it can like crush you. It's so oh, heavy. No. It's designed to okay. yeah. Just... withstand a blast. I don't think that stone. <laughs> it's going to do much, Anna. I'm not going to lie. I am going to put these headphones on. I'm going to be listening to white noise in radio, although there's no signal down here, so I'm not too sure how that's going to go. If any words come through, then I'll say them out loud, but I need you guys to ask questions. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it in this room. What do you think this room was again? I would imagine it was like an operations room. If they had to activate the missiles, I do not believe they could do it from inside the missile room. 
they would have to seal that off because of the exhaust and the blast. Yeah, that's true. So then they would be in a room kind of like this. If anybody comes in, let me know. But just in case, I've got a knife. Oh, I don't think you can stab a ghost. No, not for ghosts if somebody comes down here. Oh. It's clear that people get murdered down here, so I brought a knife, okay? <laughs> is anybody here that can confirm if this is the control center, if this is the control room? Is there anybody here that used to work at this facility? Here. Are you a man or a woman? Were you stationed? Go. Back. Would you like me to leave? I'm getting chills going all the way up my legs right now. Do you know what? I'm just going to, I was just going to say that I feel a severe drop in temperature. Me. Are you alone? No. There was a couple of people walking behind me a couple of minutes ago. Right. Was that you guys? Mm-hmm. You freaked me out. I'm getting fr chills just remembering it. God, this, like, I'm freezing me on too. my back, like, all the way. Ugh. Fuck off, woman. Are you talking to Jade or Anna? Or are you calling me a woman? Is this Anna? A... That was a woman that just said Anna. Her? What about Anna? Leave. Red. Oh, I am freezing, freezing. I'm freezing too. I, like I... my hands now. Why should Anna leave? Okay. Do you... Do you feel threatened? A little. Don't Sit. feel Don't feel threatened. Go. We're not here to harm you. If you're really in fear from my energy, it's because I am it fearful. Is. I'm scared now. I'm getting shivers. This whole thing's kind of freaking me out and I do not like it. I preferred it earlier when I felt comfortable here. I'm, I'm, I'm why? Not... Why what? Why am I here? Just sounded like a man just went, oh, like just, oh, like over it. Uh, you serve in this space? Is an airman? Three. What? What's the significance of the number three? What is the name of the person? Three. How long would you spend down here for a shift? Two. 48 hours, two days. Got it. Mm -hmm. What's your name? My name is Lance Frank. Corporal Capasso. Frank. Do you have a girlfriend? Is her name Holly? Bitch. What was that? Bitch? We had a contact from a, a name Holly. Does that make any sense? Quit. Was Holly and Andrea. Please. You want me to quit asking questions? Jade. I'm going to stop because... Uh... I'm freezing, darling. I'm I'd freezing. like to get out of here. Are you cold too? I'm freezing, aye. Dude, it's I was literally me. like, it started, the second I started this, I felt it go all the way from the bottom. All, and I thought maybe it's just the puddle that I'm standing in, but then it's chills. No, I was getting hands. actually freezing, aye. It was like, there was like a cold presence here. You're shaking. Aye. I caught the quit, please. And then Jade, so it's like, that's oh, kind of okay. bad. I, I felt feel, like that was genuine, like, quit, please, Jade. Like, I feel I feel like uh, I might be radiating scared, fear, 
waves or whatever because I'm 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 pretty scared. It's Are pretty you? scary. Now. Well, I'm I just I get I just went from blooming to minus thirty. I'm freezing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's. And true. then some of the questions I'm asking, I'm feeling like I'm making him uncomfortable. I think oh, really? my fear is radiating, so I would rather leave. Okay. I'm here to support you, and if you want to leave, I'm gone. No, that's okay. We can we can get going. Um, yeah, make sure you remember your stick, though. Don't forget the stick. Watch the door, remember. Film up there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dang, watch yourself all this broken glass. Whoa, guys. Doesn't that look like blood down there? Yeah, it's blood. Oh, I. A lot of it. It is blood. Here. Oh my god. Uh huh. Let's get out of here. Whoa, it's all up here. Like piles of blood. Uh, really, really concerned with why there's so much blood in here. Uh, I don't really know if. <sighs> this is really intense. Dude, there, were, there was a human skull found in here. This is honestly, like, just so you guys know, this is probably one of the, the craziest, mon most unsettling things that I've ever witnessed on an investigation in my entire life, to be completely honest. This is really bizarre unsettling, and I don't even want to be around it, but I think maybe somebody's, it's, it looks like somebody's been attacked here, and the blood splatter has went all the way up, up here. That would make sense. It's everywhere. See. See. Yes, I do see. Was somebody hurt here? Can you tell me if somebody was, was hurt here? I'm gonna open this. There's blood inside there too. Yeah, that's because it's coming from the top. Just take a few steps over here, just investigate a tiny bit further before we leave. Do you see it here? Huh. Oh yeah. Oh no. There's like blood yeah. splatter here too. So basically somebody maybe was killed. We have absolutely no signal and I have like 3% battery left. Guys. Guys. What, your flashlight My flashlight just turned off by itself. Dad. I literally just bought this flashlight. This is the first time that I've ever used this flashlight and it's literally, look, dead. See it? Wow. It's dream. Wow. It is freaky down there. Yeah. All right, I think that I'm kind of done here. Uh, the blood is probably the most unsettling thing, so I, I really want to get out of here. Shush. It says shush, like shush. Huh. So what were you going to say? Because whatever you were about to say, something just shushed you. Yeah. Like, you know, we shall investigate. Yes, I'm here. Was. Yes, I'm here. Somebody was killed there, so they can be in the news or something like that. Anna, I'm not gonna lie, that blood looks fresh. Like, so fresh. I don't think anything's gonna be reported about that. Yeah, I don't know. This investigation took a really weird turn. Evil. Evil actually makes a lot of sense down here. Okay. All right, we're, we're getting out of here and we're gonna figure out what to do when we get back out. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We found blood down here, remember? Because there's blood here too. It, it looks like some, something happened down here and then they tried to escape or maybe something happened here then they got dragged back there. But before we leave, I do just want to say thank you to all the spirits who communicated with us. Thank you for everybody connecting to us. 
and to Georgia for taking care of us. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. To Grandad, I guess now we understand why he came through. Finding all that blood, like now I get it. Now I understand. Okay. Um, and also, anything that is here has to stay here. And you're not allowed to follow us out of here, okay? Yeah. That's already out. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Check down here. There's any blood? No, no, no. There's any blood? 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 No, no. Yeah, my dad's already out of here. He's, I don't think that he's going to be coming on another investigation. <laughs> Gave you chills to look under the swimming yeah. pool. Oh yeah, you don't feel scared to look at it there. Yeah. You feel like somebody's... I didn't even go near it. I'm always thinking of what if, like, or trying to piece the story together. And I really, really hope that somebody wasn't attacked down there recently, or at all, actually. And I really hope that the body wasn't dumped in that pile of water. That's all I'm saying, so. How did you enjoy your first investigation? It was kind of cool. <laughs> You're such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I was planning on coming back here at night as well. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. I don't know about that anymore. <laughs> Maybe well, I'll just... you won't have your crew. You'll be up here on your own. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll get Barry or Beyond yeah, to come with me. They're always up for everything. <laughs> uh, I have a lot to process right now. We're going to figure out what we're going to do with the whole blood situation. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please go ahead and like, comment, subscribe as well, because it really does help the channel out. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, goodbye. Bye, guys. Come on then, be quiet though. <sighs> okay, so uh, I just got home. My phone died out there, my dad's phone died and Anna's phone was in the car. So we weren't able to call the police when we were up at the, the base, but I'm gonna give them a call now and I'm really, really nervous. I'd never call the police, so I don't really know how to do this. And I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for being in there or what, but I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight without knowing that um, I reported this. You have reached the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Due to the high call volume, we are unable to answer your call at this time. Please do not leave a message. Thank you. I didn't know that it was a thing that, like, the police just don't pick up. <laughs> I'm going to try another number here. We're sorry we can't take your call at this time. Hi there, um, my name is Jade and I was just calling to um, kind of report something that I thought was a little bit weird. I was hiking up by the, the missile site. We'll see if I, I get a call back or if they need any more information or anything like that, but I've left a voicemail, so we'll see what happens. I just want to say a quick thank you to everybody who supported Ghost Club. We just hit 35,000 subscribers, which is huge. Hell yes. Let me know your thoughts about this episode in the comments section. And remember to check out Surfshark VPN, the proud sponsor of this episode.